A great way to create a custom color palette is to open up an image and then use that image to create your custom color. So it will take all the colors that are in that image and put them into swatches that you can use for other elements in your fireworks document. So to do this, your first step is going to be to open up an image that you would like to use to be able to do this. I have a picture of a flower here. I'm going to go ahead and click on preview so I can go into the preview mode to develop my colors. And then over on the right, I'm going to go to my optimize and align palette and click to expand it. Um, and if you don't see this, then go ahead and go to windows and then go to optimize and it will bring up that palette for you. So the export file format drop down list, you want to choose either GIF, um, you can also choose the TIFF 8 or you can choose the PNG 8. So whatever you would like to use, I'm going to choose the PNG 8 and that's going to allow for me to bring my color palettes in. And you can see down below that it took all the colors from the image and it brought it down to this color palette. Now if I didn't want to bring in all of the colors, I could have selected just the flower maybe, um, just the brown part, just a certain part, and then when I went and did this, it would only select the colors that I had selected. Went ahead and brought all of them in. You can adjust the number of colors that you want to see from the colors drop down list. 256 is going to give you a lot of different colors if you have that many colors in your photo. You can also choose just to have 16 or just to have 32 and it's going to just give you the most popular 16 or 32 colors. You can see over in the preview what it looks like using just those colors. I'm going to go ahead and choose 256 so I can get the full spectrum. Okay, so now I have my custom colors. I want to go ahead and save this as a palette. So up here in my options menu, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go to save palette and you'll want to browse to where you want to save it. I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to call it yellow flower. Click on save. Okay, so I've saved those colors. So now I need to bring them up into my palette. So to do this, go ahead and go to Window and then go to Swatches. And you can see the standard swatches that I have here. I'm going to go to the Options menu again and I'm going to go to Replace Swatches. I'm going to choose the palette that I've saved. Click on Open. And now I have all these color swatches and I could go ahead and pick on one and I could create text with one. I could create a shape with one. If I'd like to get rid of some of these, I could just go through and edit. I can delete. You can see I have quite a few black ones here. Uh, so that's how you can create a custom color palette from any image in Adobe Fireworks.